today we're talking about how hip rotation affects the pelvic floor. So I thought it might help to visualize with the pelvis. So if we pretend that this is the femur, where I'm talking about, you know, maybe my, my first two fingers ignore the rest of my hand, but like it comes out at an angle from your pelvis. The, the femur comes out at an angle from your pelvis and then goes down. So we have that on both sides. And as we rotate in both directions on both sides, if I tilt the pelvis so that you can see the pelvic floor muscles better, obviously they're not actually moving on my model as I do this, but hopefully you can imagine that as that hip rotation is happening in both directions on both sides, that there is also a lengthening and a shortening of the pelvic floor muscles that corresponds with that hip motion. And when you can do it in both directions and both sides, Okay, so when you can do this rotation in both directions and both sides and the pelvic floor is going to follow along with the hip, then you lose the ability to both hold tension, which can be a problem in the pelvic floor, like we, hold, we can hold excessive tension and then we can't get proper lengthening, or for the pelvic floor contraction to not be enough of a part of your movement strategy, but when you get that shortening that corresponds to the hip motion, then the pelvic floor is going to shorten along with it and you get more of a contribution of your pelvic floor with that movement strategy. So hopefully that makes sense, but the, the hip function and the hip strength and mobility is a vital part of your pelvic floor function. Thank you.